Dear. Plus entertainment galore. Well, that's my Friday afternoon taken care of then. this lot too. Do you think so? Yeah. I know. Let's have a fashion show. A fashion show? Mm. And then we can sell them all off to the highest bidders. Cool. My commission is 50%. Mm, okay. But we better get this stuff out of here before Mum realises what we're doing. So easy being me. I'm Spring. 
spread the funky beat out that hip hop sound. Funky dude, say you're looking good. Coolest kid in the neighborhood. Yeah! Wow! I have got to have a pair of those. Please, could I have some more handkerchiefs, Mom? Handkerchiefs? Right. Now all we have to do is tell Henry we're going shopping. Oh, that won't be easy. Mum! Mum! We have to go shopping right now! Now look, Henry, I don't care what you say or how much fuss you make, we are going shopping. We are? Great! Huh? Mm. Chocolate mousse, my favourite! That was easy. Yes, too easy. That was easy. For once, Mum's getting me something I want. Come along, Henry. We're ready to go. Boots here I come. Woohoo! Wait till you see my new rooter toots. Rooter what's it? Rooter Toots! The really cool trainers Mum's getting me! Trainers? We're getting you trousers! <coughs> trousers? Yes, you don't need new trainers, you need new trousers! Trousers? Toots. Stop nagging, Henry. But, Mum! Please go and get me some washing up liquid. The one with the extra bubbles. Over there. It's just not fair. I never get anything I want. Oh, helping Mummy with the shopping, are we? How sweet. Get lost, sour face. Why are you here? You hate shopping. <laughs> not when my mum's getting me rooter toots. Rooter toots, really? Huh. Well, I hope she buys you a new brain while she's at it. See you later, bubble boy. <laughs> if only they'd stop growing for a few months. Ah! Oh, my goodness. So easy being me. I'm What's that, Peter? No. Oh. Just giving my Peter propeller a trial run. <laughs> hmm. Needs a bit of work. I'm home. Henry, come down here. We've got some news for you. <sighs> what now? Ooh, how romantic. You mean I've got to be on my own with him for the whole weekend? Great! I can try out my Peter propeller. It's all right. We'll manage on our own. Well, you won't exactly be on your own. Great Aunt Greta's coming to look after you. Aunt Greta, how lovely to see you. Oh, hey, Peter, how you've grown. Oh, uh, no, Great Aunt Greta, I'm Peter. <laughs> of course you are. And where's my little Henrietta? Uh, it's Henry, Great Aunt Greta. Yes. Uh, where is she? I've got presents for everybody. A baseball cap, Peter. I believe a fashionable teenagers like you wear them back to front. And these are for little Henrietta. Right. Now you two young lovebirds, get off for your weekend. And we'll have some fun, won't we? Now, boy, 
always be good. And here's our number in case of an emergency. Don't worry, we'll be good, won't we, Henry? Now then, what's next? It's nearly tea time. <laughs> Maybe these will come in useful after all. Easy being me, I'm Bogey brain. It's time to change the game. Sign here if you are brave enough. Take this to your leader. Dear Bogey brain, I'm brave enough to change the game. Signed me. Anyway. about nothing if you ask me. My spies tell me she has a new and secret weapon. Does she now? Well, maybe we've got a new and secret weapon or two of our own, hey, Fang? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But... Hey, Henry. Ready for some action? Right. Let's start with the easy ones. Bogey brain, beetle brain, duck brain. Any other kind of brain? Duh, no, cos brains don't really come into it. Yeah, don't really. Do you mind? I'm thinking. Oh, yeah, I'm thinking. Good, cos we need more names. Yeah, more names. You what, Margaret? More names. I said we need more names. Oh, yeah, we need more names. Go on, then. Look in there. Yeah, look in there. You what, Margaret? Go on. house? That's not running away. It is too. Isn't. Anyway, I slept here all night. Where did you sleep? Hey, that's my running away food. <laughs> not anymore. All right, I'm eating some of your running away food. <laughs> no toothbrush, no clothes, no food, nothing but toys. You don't know much about running away, do you? I bet you didn't even bring a map. Did too? What did you bring? Ha! Clothes? You don't need clothes in the jungle. Anyway, I thought of running away first. Didn't. Did. Hey! Stop it! Oi! That was Leafy Pat, if you don't mind. I'm going to tell your mum where you are and then you'll be in big trouble. Yeah, and I'll tell yours. And I'll tell her you slept here last night. Your house. That's just like them. They found out I've run away and they're celebrating with pancakes. Well, huh, I'd certainly celebrate if you ran away. I'll show them. Henry! 
breakfast time. Henry's not in his room. What? Peter. Where's Henry? Do I have to tell you? Yes. yes. Henry's run away. Oh, no. Henry! Henry! Where are you? You should have told us, Peter. <sighs> oh. Hope you don't mind. I invited Margaret for breakfast. But Peter said you'd run away. Peter, you mustn't tell lies. Telling lies is naughty, Peter. Oh, I'm very surprised at you, Peter. You've let us both down. I think Peter's learnt his lesson. Right. Well, why don't I make some more pancakes? Oh! Uh oh. Henry, what's all this? It's all the things that were too heavy for Henry to run away with. See? I was telling the truth all along. How could you be so horrid, Henry? This time you're in big trouble. Tomorrow, I'm really going to run away. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. Henry, Mum says... Out of the way, Worm! They're going to put someone in the Bog of Doom! Mum says she doesn't care who's going into the Bog of anything. Your homework's more important. Oh, no! I can't believe it! Nothing is more important than the Bog of Doom! So move over, smelly nappy baby! Mum says homework now, Henry! Oh, I can't look! <laughs> I said, homework now, Henry. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh. No! Henry! Last night was amazing, wasn't it? Was it? Yeah! It was too cool for school. <sighs> didn't see it. it. Didn't see it? Why not? Homework. Homework? Don't tell me you actually did some. Of course I didn't. But Mum wouldn't let me watch TV. So I read my gross class zero bumper annual instead. Oh, uh, the one from last year or the year before? Oh, last year's. One before was rubbish. Yeah, it was. Henry? Ralph? In here now? <laughs> So, uh, of course, as you all know, the first subject of the day is homework. I'm assuming you haven't done any, Henry. Uh, no, miss. And what is your excuse this time? Um... You know, Henry, you could actually try doing some homework. <laughs> yeah? And how am I going to do that? Well, there are lots of websites that can help you with your homework. Well, is that one that actually does your homework for you? Well, what would be the point of that? Worth a look, Henry. Yeah! Well, thanks, Brian. Yet. Oh, I'm hungry. Finished, Mum. Thank you for a delicious breakfast. Oh, don't forget your homework, Peter. I won't, Mum. Thank you. Have you done your homework, Henry? <laughs> um. Because if you haven't, I wouldn't like to imagine what Miss Battleaxe will have to say to you. Henry! Sit at the front. One thousand lines. I will do my homework. Time to clean out the store cupboard, Henry. Ah! 
Oh, couldn't you write me a note and say I didn't do my homework cos, uh... Cos what, Henry? Why don't you just tell her the truth, Henry? The truth? Hmm, let's see. Do my homework or watch Too Cool for School? Hmm, tough decision. What do you think, Fluffy? Wanna win some money? Henry, Peter asked you a question. Why can't you just tell her the truth? No, can't do that. Aliens ate my cereal packet. <laughs> As if. Eureka! That's it! Aliens save the day! No! Well, Henry, I'm waiting. Where is your homework? Aliens ate it, miss. Just how stupid do you think I am, Henry? Uh, not stupid at all, Miss Battleaxe. So, um, tell me about these aliens then, Henry. Well, you see, it was like this, Miss Battleaxe. It happened last night when Peter and me were playing Snap. Just before. So I... Easy being me, I'm hard. 